As I'm filming this right now, the Jays are six games under 500. They haven't played their next game yet today, but I'm going to take a wild guess here and say they're going to lose. At this time last year, the Jays were not six games under 500. Last year at this time, their season worst was four games under 500. Admittedly, last year was the best first half they'd had since the early 90s. This year, the Jays were absolutely disgusting in April. I, I watched all the games, but I could not stand to watch all the games. In May, they were absolutely amazing, which was such a great turn. And they were completely mediocre in June. So they've covered all the bases, no pun intended. But what are they going to do for this month? July has to be better or we're out. Simple as that. Actually, July pretty much darn well has to be perfect. Do I think we'll be at 500 by the All-Star break? Uh, no, not at all. Not with how they're playing right now, but I friggin' hope so. When our pitchers are doing well, no one's hitting. When our guys are hitting, our pitchers suck. And when all of those things end up working together sometimes, Gibbons is an idiot. So what's gonna happen in this next month? Aaron Sanchez should be coming back soon. He's already starting in Buffalo, so that seems like a good sign. Grilly has been assigned to the minors, which <laughs> I'm sorry to say, but I, I, I'm very happy about. As I'm sitting here saying this to you, it is 1.03 p.m. 1.03 p.m. 1.03 p.m. So my question is, do we completely tear apart the team before the trade deadline or do we stick with what we have? It, <laughs> what we have seems to not be working. Obviously, if you need someone to help your team win, then you need to give someone up of equal value. So who's it gonna be? <laughs> you're not giving up smoke. Donaldson may be going through a rough patch, but you're not gonna give him up either. I know this is a terrible, terrible thing to say, but I almost want to start a rebuild. They did it with the Leafs, and you can already see how that's turning out. Yeah, it's a few years of pain, but <laughs> to win, yeah, I'll take that. Otherwise, you've got this mediocre team that lets us down every year. Sure, you get in the first round, but then you get knocked out of the first round. You get really close to getting in the first round, and then you don't get in the first round. Or you just friggin' suck like what we're seeing right now. I say we should tank. I don't know if we can start a petition for that, but uh, if you want to sign it, comment down below. The Leafs got Matthews. Maybe we could tank for someone too. Maybe the new month will bring something out in them like it did in April to May. It just was like a switch went off in their brain and they start doing good. Maybe that'll happen in July. Or maybe I'm lying to myself. I don't know. These are just a few of my thoughts as a Jays fan. Uh, I don't know if they really go together at all. I just need to get them out of my head because they're driving me crazy. As I'm sitting here saying this to you, it is 1.03 p.m. The chase will start in just a few minutes and hopefully by the time this is out, you'll know if the Jays won or not. Probably not because... Did you guys see the game the other day that went like how many fucking hours? One of... Okay, not even talking about any statistics or anything. One of my biggest pet peeves as a Jays fan is when I have to stay up to watch them lose. So when they're in a different time zone, I cannot stand where I stay up until 1 a.m just to watch them give up a run in the last inning. That gets me. There was a great game just the other day where it was two and a half hours and we won. It was like, okay, that's nice. That's, that's very, it's very comforting to me. And then there was a game just the other night where I was like, I, I just stayed here for like five hours to watch them lose. Really? Is that what I really want to do with my life right now? Is that, is that what I really want to do with my time? So yeah, they definitely have to turn it around or else I'm gonna start doing other stuff instead of watching them lose. This is supposed to be the time of year where it gets exciting, where we're like almost in the race for the wild card spot or, or the first... No, this is, it's not exciting right now. It's, it's so terrible. <laughs> but maybe I'm just being dramatic because, you know, I've been a Leafs fan for all my life and they always lose. I'm used to them losing, which they're not doing so much anymore. But with the Jays, I haven't been a Jays fan all my life. I only started liking the Jays just a few years ago. So I've always been there while they're winning. And this is definitely different for me and I hate it really. <laughs> But it's fine. As a fan, you have to go through the hard times to get the good times, and I understand that. Another thing I just want to talk about real quick is that I don't think that you should dread having one of your bullpen pitchers come on to the mound. I dread it when Loop comes on. Maybe Loop is a good player and just doesn't do well in Toronto. I don't know what it is, but I don't care to find out. I just, I, I'm not a huge fan of him. Call this wistful thinking if you need to, but I think it would be a wonderful world where bullpen, one of the guys comes out of the bullpen, and I'm just like, I can breathe. That's what it's like with Osuna when he's doing good. It's like, okay, don't worry, he's got this, Osuna Matata. But yeah, I would just like a little bit of reassurance that the guy who's coming onto the mound is not a total and complete idiot. Maybe Sanchez coming back and turning around. I honestly don't think so. So that's all today. I guess this was a bit of a rant because uh, they're driving me nuts. 
But once again, in two minutes, I'm going to go watch the game. So, yeah. They don't, this is just like with the Leafs. They don't have to be good. I'm still going to watch them. And that's why they make money. Anyways, what do you guys think that the Jays are doing wrong? Please let me know down below. And please, like, could somebody talk to Gibbons and tell him that? I don't know. Somebody do something, please. So that's it. I will talk to you guys another day. Hopefully, I will be doing a video on the NHL free agency. So if you want to see that, stick around.